Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What's going on, crew? Welcome back to all the crew members out there. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Spent Too Much Diecast. All right, so I kind of mentioned this in a video that I did a little bit ago that I'm going to start opening up my Hondas so I can get them displayed and everything. So today we are going to start it off with the 1998 Honda Prelude. So this is a awesome casting. It started back in 2020 is when they started this Prelude casting. So basically I have them all set up here, how they went. So first one was the silver, second was the blue one, third one was the yellow one. The fourth one here was this green one, where if you remember, was the Dollar General exclusive. Then we had the red one. Then we saw it here in a premium for a car culture. And then the newest one here you can see is loose because this one came from a five pack. So this one is from the new 2022 Night Burners five pack is where you can find that prelude and we did open up the five pack but basically this is the one it came from it was right there the brand new night burners five pack so these are all the castings that hot wheels has made so far for the honda prelude so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut them out because i love to save my card backs so i'm going to cut them out and then we'll take a closer look at them and check out some preludes all righty crew and we are back all right so here they all are unboxed so these videos i'm going to try to keep kind of short we'll just kind of look over the cars that way if you guys are certain collectors of like the preludes hondas stuff like that um that way you guys can see kind of all the versions um i don't have versions of everything like sometimes i'm missing supers or premiums or stuff like that but i actually have all the preludes that are out to date so i figured we'll go ahead and start it off with this i might start another album i don't think i'm going to put this under the hot wheel non-premium sets maybe we'll put this under like hot wheel manufacturer sets or i don't know i'll come up with something but that way if you guys want to see other ones like this they'll all be in one play album so basically, I believe this was the first one. I kind of looked it up on the Hot Wheels wiki, and this was the order it came up. So not 100% sure if this is how they were released, but this is how I think they were, or at least what wiki it says. So like I said, first one up was the 2020. So this was would have been the very first one they released. It's saying it was from the J case. So here's all the information on that. Awesome card back. And we get this nice, um, it's almost like a gray, grayish silver. I would probably put it more gray than silver. And it does have the full taillight deco with actually the Japanese license plate, which is really cool. Like I said, it's the silver with the red. And this one is a right-hand drive vehicle. So we'll have to see if all the castings are the same. So this would be like what you would find in Japan. And what was the, so the first series, it was from the Honda series. And this one does have like the clear um, headlights. And they kind of look like they're smoked out. So that is pretty cool. Not a big fan of the red interior. I know like uh, some of the Type R's for Honda stuff did have a red interior, but this one isn't too bad. And then I will show you the base stuff if you need to know anything so this is the 98 honda prelude all right then the, the second one that year would have been the blue one which would be the recolor see also the honda set i wonder if we saw two every year or something so 2020 shows the copyright of 2017 but it was released in 2020 now this one is the blue one i really like this one so it's got the same wheels as the um, gray one. It is the nice blue. All right, see now here's a little different. So 
They got the same license plate. They did put the same um, deco on the back. So it does have the Honda, the Prelude, and the VTEC in the back there. It's just in silver, so you really can't see it. But you can see it a lot clearer on the blue color. So that one is cool. And this one, they did go with a black interior, which I think looks really nice. And then again, it's got the same um, clear lenses for the headlights. And then there is even the Honda Deco and the like fog lights, you would say. Very cool. Like the blue one. All right. Then I'm assuming the next year, which would have been last year, 2021, they came out with another one. So this one is actually the Hot Wheels um, J Imports or Japanese. They started that category. And this one is from the F case. And this one is yellow. Really like this one. All right, so we got yellow with the white wheels, different than the silver and um, blue. Again, full taillight deco. And this one, they went with a black hood, and it's got the same clear headlights. And they went back with the red interior. The glass, though, they did give it a little bit of a tint, as you can see. I love when they do the tint on it. So yellow, very cool casting. I think they put out a lot of yellow cars last year. So that is cool. All right. And then, so in the same year, we actually have three recolorings. Because this one here, it says it's the G case. This one was the Dollar General exclusive. So the only way you could find this one was at Dollar General. And this one is awesome. It's like a green chameleon paint job. Not too big fan of the wheels. I would actually like to see a five spoke or a six spoke. But that's the ones they put on it. And this one is really cool. It's got the full taillight deco. So they went away with the license plate for this year. I love the black interior. Love the black hood. And I love this color. It's like every angle you look at it, it looks different. Sometimes it looks silver. Sometimes it looks green. They did a really good chameleon paint job on that. And then same with that same year. So the second color, the first color would have been yellow. Then they did the Dollar General exclusive. And then the next color, P case, would be the red one. And they probably got rid of the license plate because they had to do the two-tone hood. And I do like these wheels. These wheels would look better on that Dollar General one, I think. Love the red. Love the black hood. This is a nice casting. I kind of like that the um, blue one because I think they did. There was a blue uh, prelude here in the States that I don't remember if it was like uh, I don't know what the baseline is of it, but it's like a bigger, uh, better baseline, I believe. All right. And then we saw, I don't know what year this was. Here it's saying 2021. This could have been last year's or the year before, but this was the Hot Wheel Premium Set Car Culture um, Modern Classics. And it is open because we did do this full unboxing of this set. So if you want to see it, I'll, I'll add it. But here it is, the 98 Prelude. So this was the first time and only time so far we've seen it in a premium. And it's kind of like the gray one from the beginning, but this one is more silver. And of course, it's the premium, so it does have the real riders. Very cool. Full graphic. Does even have a license plate. Quick lewd. That's cool. Um, probably California license plate. Quick lewd. They even put a little bit extra graphics deco for the corner lights. Now these headlights are, it's the same plastic, but they actually painted over them with the headlights. So that's cool. So this one you get full, full deco with the premium. Very nice. All right. And then new for this year 
like I kind of mentioned, this one was only found, and there's no card back or nothing, because it was found in a five pack right there. This one's the new Night Burners. So this is the new Night Burners for 2022. So this year they came out with the Night Burners five pack. And that is the only place you can find this prelude so far that I know of. So now we're seeing another coloring and it is in white with different wheels. And I don't know all the wheels names. So, so again, they went away with the license plate, but you still got the taillight deco, which is nice no headlight deco you do have the honda logo and this one that they did stick with the black interior i love the black over the red so there it is oh i was gonna put them up on the stands but i guess we didn't use those <laughs> so there we go like i said guys i'm gonna i'm gonna start with some of my hondas because i want to start um getting these opened out of the cards that actually like on in a display case or in my um, carriers and stuff like that. So you are going to see a lot more of these. Like I said, event, I'm going to start with Hondas, but eventually we'll go into all different other stuff. I got, um, more imports like RX sevens, you know, these, these are like the castings that I love to collect. So that's what we're going to be opening. So I don't, I'm not going to do everything. Like I'm not going to do all the different Ford Mustang versions and stuff like that. But if you do like this, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way you can join the spend too much diecast crew and then also hit that bell notification that way you guys get notified every time we put up a new video and then like i said definitely check out our facebook and instagram um, i will have photo albums on all this stuff when new ones come up we'll update that photo album that way you guys can stay up to date with all that i also do have my own website which is in the link tree and that is going to be the same thing. It's going to have pictures of everything. So if you want to stay up to date on that, that works too. It does work on both mobile and desktop. So that one is cool. So here we go. Are you guys Prelude collectors? If so, are you guys up to date? If not, this is what you're looking for. But that's it. Alrighty. So thanks for watching another video here at Spent Too Much Diecast. Like I said, if you are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. For all you returning crew members, I want to give you guys a big shout out. Thank you for all the likes, comments, shares, all that good stuff. But until next time, everybody have a great day and we'll see you on the next unboxing. Bye. Thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great day.